I'm Willa Fan, and I am truly honored to be sharing the 20 people I admire with you. My grandmother, growing up in pre-World War II China, uh, was completely different. She was a servant at seven, a simultaneous wife number two with my grandfather. In the end, she showed no bitterness, only love. My aunt, like many Chinese immigrants, um, came to the U.S. with little money, speaking only Chinese. She managed to pursue an education on her own dime. And um, the next slide, um, my husband, um, just an amazing artist, painter, and um, designer. And um, his patience and creative process is what makes him so amazing, and it's inspired me to paint. And um, this is my husband's great aunt, and um, just absolutely beautiful woman. And um, she, she's in her 80s, and she maintains her beauty and vibrance in old age. And um, the next slide is uh, my childhood friend, um, her sister, and her mother. Her mother, just, you know, after her husband left her, she was able to provide an education for herself and her two daughters. Um, and um, the next slide is um, our family doctor and friend. Um, she puts her heart and soul into what she does um, and co goes to work every day, even through battling breast cancer. Um, and um, the next slide is, this is actually a friend who's, I actually had the privilege to see his concert in July, and an amazing, beautiful voice and a beautiful lyrics, but you would never think that he appreciates potty humor with his beautiful, poetic lyrics. Um, I lost my brother from a recurring brain tumor. Um, he had the strength to hold a little longer making sure my mother would be okay. Um, and when she let him know that um, she would be, um, he passed away. And uh, this is my mother, and um, I totally admire her for enduring that. Um, just any mother who loses her child is amazing. I mean, just so much strength. Um, this is actually a couple um, from my brother's Brain Tumor Online support group. Um, and um, the wife was a caretaker to her husband with a brain tumor, uh, became a patient herself in the same way he did. She passed on, but he with a heavy heart hangs on. Uh, my mother-in-law um, practically has nine lives. Uh, even after battling a bunch of health problems, she's able to um, travel, build a new house, but also give us a hard time. <laughs> and her friend, our friend, is constantly there for her and a caretaker to others. She has no hesitation doing this and when she walks in a room, warmth just exudes from her presence. Um, I actually started painting um, because my, you know, just after my brother passed away and uh, I took a lot of painting classes and my art teachers would set up these crazy still lives that inspire me, something like that. Um, my cousin is one of those people who um, lights up the room when he walks in, and he's totally not afraid just to be himself. Um, he'll, he'll secretly dance in front of his patients, like just secretly just try to move. But then in the streets of New York City, he'll constantly be singing. Um, and um, this year, I went to China, and I saw this character. He's this guy with a dog on his bike, as if he's like protecting his dog from the billions of people around him. And these images just inspire me to paint. And this year, I also, um, I'm playing touch football for the first time for the Hamden Flamingos. And, um, yeah. And um, after a complete losing streak, we're still aiming for the pros. And I actually um, started uh, uh, working with a bunch of local filmmaker friends for the 48-hour film project. And it's just amazing. Um, just with little resources, how awesome of a film they would be able to make, just the combination of people. I actually started going, uh, this one um, represents uh, local, farm make, I mean, local farmers um, who I actually started going to farmers markets um, this year, and they're just, they just take so much time to have healthy food for us. And um, this is Father Richard Lawrence. He married us at Sinai Hospital at my father's bedside, even embraced our cultural traditions my father passed away a week later. Um, when I fear taking a risk, 
I think about my father, who risked all by escaping from the oppression of China's cultural revolution to Hong Kong. Without him, I would not have gotten a chance to share this with you. Thank you so much. Thank you.